Alrighty, so welcome back. Uh, we're gonna throw the gearbox in this thing today. I got Kenny Beef and Quickie. He says his real name's Rob. We've got our manual gearbox out of the burnt TJ ready to go in. Uh, got a couple of things to replace, like obviously the fire destroyed that boot on the top. And what else? Also the clutch, clutch line, because they're a one piece sort of system, it destroyed that as well. So we're gonna have to rig up like a clutch for it so that way we can get that working. Quickie and Kenny are uh, over there cleaning up the bolts now for the flywheel. Got some Loctite, we're gonna throw the flywheel on. We're gonna try and line that clutch and then we're gonna throw this gearbox in. Put the starter motor in, trick out that inhibitor switch and hopefully we can go for a drive today in this thing. Be great. All right, time for me to shut up. Let's go have a look. Just admiring the um, patina. Patina? <laughs> is that the right word? Is mud patina? That's patina, isn't it? Yeah. Sure. For sure. Break it. You're breaking it. You <laughs> broke it. I didn't do it. No, we'll get back to that. We'll get back to I it. I think that's not factory, is it? Why is it moving? I don't know. I'm going, bro. What, what are you doing? Yes. Yeah, it's <laughs> I was just holding up and it's going backwards. <laughs> we'll put the handbrake on. <laughs> Toyota handbrake. Oh, don't do that. You'll never get off. It's a Jeep handbrake. They actually work. Oh, well, I'm not used to it, mate. I've got a Prado. I bet you can't get that off now. Yeah, two hands. Yeah. <laughs> i put it on with two hands. Um, we're going to start with putting the flywheel on. Did you get locked up? Yes. Oh. Yes, I did. I knew... <laughs> That you, oh, yeah, wind. It upset me. You would get upset, and then Skid Pig would message me, and then he would get upset. I feel like medium strength doesn't suit your lifestyle. Oh, but I was reading the thing, and it said um, you can get it thing. off with hand tools. No, oh, yeah. But the other one, the one up from this, is like you need heat and no, right, okay. hand tools. I was like, I do not Fair want that. Fair enough. Clean this up? Nah, the clutch does that. <laughs> You're going in rough, are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why machine something that you could wear off? Yeah, it has been sitting in the paddock for some time. I uh, don't worry about the back. What are you doing? Unbelievable. Right about the back. You don't see that bit. Well, at least dry. It's making it clean where it's. You're sits. doing. You're doing more than I would have done. Mm. We know this. I would have just put thread tape on those suckers and sent them in with twelve ugger duggers cross threaded. They'll never come out. I recall you telling me about twelve months ago. You're like, kind of sick of just slapping projects projects together. I want to do something nice. <laughs> And Here then I start are. again, I was like, ah, fuck it. Here we are. Love to do something nice. It takes too long. It does. It really does take too long. Mm. Oh, good. Good dab shot. I don't believe that. You don't? <laughs> I didn't put it on. Oh, well, okay. Why do you think you guys put it on? <laughs> that way if it falls off, <laughs> I can blame you. <laughs> good luck. What evidence will you have, mate? Ah, oh. uh, 20 minute oh. video. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, CGI. Just get a name change, CGI. Right on. It Here's comes off, you. ring Milwaukee. Their fault. Yes. Agreed. It was on uh, setting three too, so it's pretty tight. If they out. didn't want you to use it for different torque settings, why would they have three different power levels? That is correct. Like, why is this being hacked sense. up with the Sobers? The more you know. Because the mate pulled it out. <laughs> My mate. I may have been there. Up here? He probably tried up there and then failed and then tried back down here. Are you like chicks that get really drunk that have an alter ego and it's all named Patricia, but yours is called my mate? Pretty much. Yeah, I thought so. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you.
gearbox is in right now, Kenny's just jacking it down, and then we're gonna move the jack to the back of the gearbox, get the bash plate, and lift the bash plate in. And I'm gonna go to the canister so and cut the exhaust off, because it's in the way. Oh, sweet, now we can shift gears and probably see if we can get it fired up. Won't have a clutch, because it's still gonna get a clutch tube, because apparently they're one piece. So once we get that whole clutch tube, then we put the clutch in, away we go. We got a rig. That's it, I'll be done. No more. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's sketchy, man. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah. I love it. Just as sketchy as hanging it off the bank. Slow it down slowly. I'm moving my fucking head out of the way. He's fine. What are you talking about? Just don't rock the car. This is the man that used the airbags last time we did engine mount shit or gearbox mount Hey, that shit. was pure genius, so you cannot say pure anything. Genius. What is this? That looks like something's gonna twang out and hit us in the face. dry in there. It'll probably yeah. be very fragile now. As soon as you put it under load, it's probably just going to split the case. Eject all its guts out on the ground. Alright, so it's the next day. Kenny B, Quickie and I got all the um, gearbox in, done all that stuff. So I went back this morning and grab the clutch assembly from the other car. It's not too bad. It's a little bit melted on the bushes and stuff, but it's really not that much of an issue. Like if the bushes flog out in there, then it's gonna get a bit of a rattle and it'll be annoying. But other than that, it should be fine. Need to get some new pedal things because they melted off. Um, got this clutch. Now, Jeep TJs are one piece. So that's, that's all one piece from there all the way down to the slave cylinder. So um, in the fire, it melted. So I'm going to try and rig up something maybe with an old air hose or something. Maybe that'll work. If not, I'm just going to have to spend the $300 on getting uh, a proper one. And you're going to have to buy the whole thing, which is about 290 bucks. So not ideal, but if it works, it works. Throw them on, throw the drive shafts in and put the starter motor in and then hopefully we can trick the inhibitor switch to so it starts up and then we can hear it run with no exhaust that's the plan for the day that's what i want to do today so and if we can move backwards or forwards even bigger bonus so we'll throw this in and we'll get to it all right so i got the other one out that's in there so it's just your single single pedal for your brake for an auto and then here's your clutch and then brake. So I've taken the brake switch out of the other one, which is right there. So when the brake is disengaged, it will make sure the lights turn off. So yeah, we'll try and manage to get that one in and bolt it up, but the steering column comes right through here. So I've probably got to take the steering column out for it to work. Good fun. So you can see where it bolts up there. And then that's the plate where the clutch mask will come through. So yeah, we're going to have to get it over top of that. We'll see if that works, and if it doesn't work, you have to take the steering column out. You're probably going to see mostly the back of my head with this bit. I'll do my best. Then we'll curse it. And get that over top. Aha! Uh -oh. Only someone that's changed the clutch pedal will be will know what position I am in right now. I've got the seat laid back and I'm upside down in the car trying to trying to reach. Okay, and get the blood back down out of my head. <clears throat> Alright so that boost is back in. Such horrible lighting in the shed. Boost is back in. Um I was gonna put that in now but looking at it because we had the fire on the inside it might not work because this part needs something else to adapt to that so whether i just rig something up and make it work or I might just have to buy another one so yeah i had to get those bolts in all the way up there where are they somewhere around there so now i'm just going to get the clutch master not the clutch master the brake master booster 
connect it up and then bolt it all into place and then that should be done for me to mess around with the with the clutch master on the top there you have it that is all bolted in brake switch is on the brake is working so now I just need to do something about the clutch Whee. Whee. all right i know this next bit's going to be pretty pretty homemade but i have no other choice i've been sitting here in the shed trying to figure out how i'm going to do it and the only way i can figure out besides this way is just to spend the 300 dollars on a whole new assembly because the i'll flip you around so because this has a hoop on it a plastic hoop that'll go over the clutch pedal in the fire that is melted off so this is still working to a degree fair enough the lines are melted but I'm not going to try and do any line work until I can figure out how to join this. So what I've figured is if I grab a bolt, find a bolt that slides over that, and then this comes out so I can just make a bigger, put a, another bolt through that and then lock tight it on there. So have that, drill a hole in it, which I've already done, a little bit off center, who cares? And then tap and die it so that way that goes onto that. And it'll probably be stronger than the original one, but this is my last effort in making it work before I completely give up and just buy a new one. So we're going to do that. We're going to see if it works. If it works, in good oh, but if not, I'm just going to have to buy a new one. So I'm going to get to doing that and then I'll try and put it in and see if that works. And then if not, we're going to have to buy a new one. That's okay. Life goes on. Right, there you have it got a thread on there bit dodge i know so what i need that to do is to go over the loop that's in the inside the car right now so that's going to fit over that that's going to push the clutch and then hopefully that would work so i can skinny this up a bit in the grinder i notice i did it offset so i can make it thinner so i'm going to make this a bit smaller in the grinder and then i'm going to make it look more prettier so that way if someone pokes their head up there they're not like oh this dodgy bastard Hopefully that'll work, but if not, uh, I'll just buy a new one. So it's either spend $300 or try and make this work. So I have this here now, so I might as well just try and see if it works. We'll make it neat and put it in. Well, 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 there you go. Hang on, sorry, sorry. That was my idea. So see how it goes over that, so that way you can get that clip on there. That's in the hole and that's on there, it's all threaded, bolted, looped. So that way, it's not bolted, so I can't really push the pedal. It's not connected, so we're just gonna shoot oil everywhere. But that, that'll work. That'll work. I'll bolt that in, get that clip on, and then I'll run the clutch line that I'll get down there. Then I'll put the slave cylinder on, then I'll put the starter motor on, then I'll put the drive shafts on, and then hopefully we can trick the inhibitor switch. I might call my <laughs> auto electrician mate, and, um, yeah, see if he knows which one to join together. That way it thinks that it's in park. And hopefully we can get it fired up. That'll be good. Looking forward to it. After all that stuffing around, got the lines down to the clutch, done everything else but, and bled it, but we still got no pedal feel. So it's strange, but what I reckon is the problem is because this was in a fire, maybe it just got that hot that it burnt out all the seals on the inside. It's cactus. Even though we spend most of the day stuffing around trying to get it working, we just cannot get any pedal feel. So I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and buy a new one. Bloody sucks, but it is what it is. It's what happens when you do this sort of stuff. I'm not gonna get let that stop me. So I'm gonna throw in the starter motor and then both drive shafts just so they're all in. And I don't know, we'll probably stuff around and see if we can get it started. But it's pretty disappointing about the clutch, but it is what it is. Um, I was kind of half expecting, but I'm stubborn and I'll try everything else before I go along and spend the money on it. So, bit of a fail, but it is what it is. We'll move along. It's not the end of the world. So now we have both drive shafts in, that's all done. 
Um, while I was going, I got the four-wheel drive linkage and everything set up. So that's our four-wheel drive. I just need to tighten it up to where it needs to be adjusted. Now, if you ever have one of these cars and you can't get it in the four low, it is simple as, so if you see that bolt there, and if you can't get one of these things in the four low, that bolt right there, the one that's moving, that just needs to be adjusted. So that's easiest fix with these. Um, I just need to tighten that bit up because I am still moving stuff around. So I don't really need to be put in four drive. I'm guessing when the other one was burnt out, it wasn't two wheel drive. So I'm going to set it to that. That'll be two wheel drive. Um, yeah, like I said, both drive shafts are in. I've had no luck with that clutch. I've been mucking around with it. Can I get it to work? So I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and order a new one. So a bit of stuffing around on it, but if it worked, it would have been a bonus. But either way, if you gave up early, you would have had to buy one. If you gave it a go, it would have um, probably worked and probably didn't most of you have had something like that in the past so now i'm just going to get underneath again and then figure out which one's the inhibitor switch and then see if i can get it to turn over and if i can get it to turn over we we'll probably get it to start probably won't be able to drive it today i was hoping just to go for a lap but here's what it is i need to order that clutch and um order a few other bits and pieces and then yeah we can start doing the cool stuff we we'll figured it out okay so so in automatics, they won't start unless they're in like park. So when you do a manual conversion, keep it simple. Sorry about the glare. See this plug right here. Let me flip you. See this plug right here. So all I've done is put a piece of wire in it to trick it to think that it's in park right now. So. By doing that, we can wind it over. So it's half working. So I'm pretty sure it's completely out of fuel. So I might put a little bit of fuel in it and then we'll hear it straight piped. It's got no exhaust on it at the moment, so it's going to be quite loud. Let's hope it turns off and doesn't just go straight to full throttle. That'd be great. All right, I'll get some fuel in it, and then we'll be back. Let's see if that works. We get a bit of a fire. No? Is so this where it comes in handy to have two people? Because it's very hard trying to, trying to do this stuff. Well, um, I'll just pull off the fuel rail and we'll have a look, see if we've got fuel. Hopefully we do. I'm um, pretty sure all the spark plugs are still on. I haven't checked anything. Probably got no fucking oil in it. Spark plugs are still there. Hmm. Who knows? Probably not letting any fuel in. Probably got a bit gummed up in the line. Who knows? That battery could be flat and it's not opening anything. I had a similar problem with um, my old 80 series. Went to, I think I was going to work and then I stopped at the server on the way to work and it was winding over fine, but it just wouldn't fire. So, sure enough, got a tow truck, took it back home. Tried everything, trying to figure out what the go was. It turns out the battery was just a little bit dead. And then when you're starting it, it was taking all power away from uh, the fuel solenoid. So the fuel solenoid wouldn't open. So therefore it wouldn't start. So it was winding over fine, just wouldn't start. So, could be a similar problem. All right, so there's the issue. So, currently have no spark. So, I'm guessing it's something to do with that immobilizer or some shit. Uh, maybe it's just been off for too long. Or maybe there's like a series of buttons you need to press before it works. Who knows? Um, yeah, so it's winding over. No idea. I'm just gonna have to keep tinkering with it. All right, so problem sorted. Um, all I need is this piece right here. So this is a crank angle sensor. And what this does is it tells the motor where the crank position is. So I just need to put this cord in and tie it into the old automatic motor. So that way it can talk to it and then it knows what, what to do. 
So I'll get a new one of them, get the harness. I've already spoken to Blair. He has the old motor at his house. So we're gonna pull the harness out of that one and then extend it up because on the older models, the crank angle, the crank angle sensor run onto the other side and it had a, a long tail. So this one plugs straight in. So we cut off that long tail and then join it into the factory harness. And yeah, that should start. So that'll be the reason we don't have any spark. So as of this weekend, there's not much more I can do. Um, I need to get this new harness and everything. So I'll get all that and we'll plug it in and we'll start her up. I need to rig up an exhaust because right now it's pretty much straight out of the header pipes and it's going to be bloody loud. So get that in, start it up and then we'll be away. So thanks for watching this episode, boys. Don't forget, like and subscribe, do all that shit, whatever you want to do. And check the links down below. Jump on all my other socials and shit like that. Uh, I also got a Patreon, so if you want to jump on there, um, put a name on a paver so you can have a paver outside the front of my house. But yeah, till next time, boys. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.